Hi, this is Lori with CustomizeWalls.com, one of the moderators for the interior design community on Google+. I have a great show. We're talking to Jason Harris. He is the founder, the guru at the Design Network. And you know we talked about that a little bit before with Barbara Terry, but we're now we're hearing right from the source exactly what this thing is. So Jason, so happy to have you here. Um, tell us, what is the Design Network? Tell, what, what is it about? Well, guru, wow, that's that's a big word. I don't think I've ever been called that. But, hey, I'm putting uh, it out there. <laughs> yeah, well, the Design Network is um, it's really a, a broadband television network that is for all things home. It's really focused in the, in the vertical of home. Um, it features entertainment, inspiration, and instruction for the home. Um, at the foundation of it, Lori, is a social media platform that's made up of home enthusiasts and design professionals. Uh, we've just launched the social media platform, which has been part of our vision for you know, since day one, 18 months ago. Um, and really through that platform, um, we're inviting you know, professionals, interior designers to, to come in, home enthusiasts to come in and create channels, upload their passion, which is what they do, their, uh, their projects, the pa their passion. And, um, and as, they, as those channels become popular, um, some of that content will surface, and um, we will actually produce television shows out of that. Um, our first 18 months of development has been in creating some of those shows. Um, we have uh, 18 series that are on the network now, the TDN TV part of this. And, um, you know, we, we really align with some great contributors, um, you know, some, some really entertaining formats. And this community is really starting to build. It's been a lot of fun. Oh, I bet, I bet. Video is definitely a way that you can separate yourself from the pack and really get people to know who you are. So I'm 100% behind designers taking on video, learning how to do it, because it's it's not as difficult as they would think, right? Right. Well, I mean, there's no question, Lori, that, that video is so powerful. Um, you know, it's it really, it's... Um, it's so much more powerful than, than you know just photographs, and and um, it's never been easier to produce high quality video content and to share it with all the uh, amazing equipment that's out there. It's very affordable today, um, so people can um, can share. They can create great videos and share. And we wanted to create a, an environment, a platform that's really specifically you know, for this category of home, which I feel like is so really underexposed. You know, uh, I'm an HGTV fan. Been watching uh, that network for years and years. But really, you know, I come from a home furnishings background in retail home furnishings with my family's business, Furniture Land South. It's the largest furniture store in the world, in the right. furniture capital of the world. And um, really, I just was I wasn't seeing um, the great design and the great home fashion that um, that I'm that I'm used to seeing with this amazing industry. Um, and so I kind of had an epiphany, um, you know, a year and a half ago that I really wanted to put a stake in the ground as things are changing, you know, so dramatically with respect to how television uh, is, is going to work in the future. It's really going to go from, uh, from cable and satellite TV into broadband. We've, we really feel like the future of television is apps. Um, and because this um, broadband really allows interactivity, it's a two-way uh, you know, two-way communication. So uh, we decided we decided to create a you know a, a broadband television network for all things home, and really it's a different type of network because it allows the the audience to engage and interact and really be a part of it. Oh yeah, I've noticed that. I've noticed the shows, the content. It's it's definitely consumer driven, right? You have all of these people loving the videos. Those those videos get ranked right up there. Um, is that the, pl the platform that you're going to stick to? Uh, absolutely. Um, you know, again, the future of television is apps, and so we've created a television app that's, you know, the foundation of it is, is, is a social media platform that sort of feeds the TV part of this. Great brands um, are able to, you know, engage with this community in, in different ways. So we have some amazing sponsors that have given birth to this network a lot of which um, were great relationships that we've had in the furniture industry. But um, now we're kind of going beyond that and, and talking, you know, working with some great brands outside of just home furnishings and, and broad, broadening out to more areas, more categories of the home that really see this as, you know, a, um, <clears throat> a great way to engage with this target audience in, in different ways. 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're I'm a huge fan of streaming. I have been for a long time. We actually got rid of cable this past year because I have Hulu Plus. I've got Apple TV. I've got um, Netflix. I've got all of. I've got Amazon Prime. I've got all of them. I stream more video. My kids stream more video than you know we do ever turn on a television <laughs> because you get these bite-sized pieces of exactly what you want when you want. Exactly. Is that what you're finding? Yeah. I've got, um, I have five kids, and, you know, if you look around <laughs> our... here, so... Wow, I did not know yeah. that. <laughs> Get together, right? <laughs> right? We've got a crew. <laughs> my, my five kids, when I look around, you know, our living room at night after dinner, everybody is on their different device, watching different things. Um, and so that was really kind of part of the impetus of this for me, is that, you know, we're really becoming this on-demand society, you know, with the exception of live sports and news, you know, most of the content, you know, that people are accessing today is, is on demand kind of when they want it. Um, so that's sort of a game-changing proposition, really. Uh, we're, we're becoming a world of screens. And it's my theory, and a lot of people's theory, that this television screen is really just going to become one of, you know, the many screens that we access. We, we access and interact with these different screens in different ways at different times. Um, the television screen will always have that passive viewing experience. Um, but there's no doubt in my mind that you're going to see the most, the biggest transformation in, tel in, in hit the history of television really over the next 24 months. Um, and you see a mass consolidation going on with, with TV. Uh, but the future of it is really going to be apps. And, um, you know, we don't need, a, you know, cable with 500 channels. There's really probably only about three or four that you watch that you care about. Uh, television will become much more personalized in the future. And, and we're developing the design network, you know, to be um, home and garden television, all things home. It's personalized. It's on demand. It's crowdsourced. It's interactive. And, um, you know, we're, we're going out and finding just some amazing talent um, that are, are now, you know, creating these shows. They're very entertaining and, and fun. This fall, we have eight new, ser new TDN TV series that are coming out. Um, and we're just so excited oh, about the new platform. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, I, you know, I'm wondering what you're thinking, though, about this, the, you said screens. You've got, you've got your iPad, your iPhone, your, your TV. Are you thinking that, all of this will be more str streamlined to like smaller shows, more more concentrated shows, or just a variety of different things, more a la carte. Because I think it's a little more the latter, probably more. The latter, okay. Yeah, just because um, you know we we interact with these screens in different ways. I'm not going to watch a full length feature film on my iPhone. I'm just not. No. You know, but, uh, you know, and um, so I'm, I'm you know I'm probably. I'm more willing to watch, say, a 30-second or, you know, a two-minute video, uh, probably a little bit longer on my tablet. Um, so I think that, that um, the format of content will really be device-specific in the future. And uh, so the content will be designed for, you know, uh, for really the device that it's accessing. So we, okay. we, sometimes we interact with these things um, in really unique ways. We're interacting with them. Um, simultaneously, sometimes we have a TV on while we're on the laptop. Uh, sometimes we um, we use them in progression. We start a video, you know, on our phone, and then we pick up, you know, we say, "Well, I want to watch. I want to finish that later on." We end up watching it on the tablet or laptop. Uh, or you just throw it. I mean, we mirror things. I love right it. The TV. <laughs> yeah, I'm loving the mirroring. Oh, that. it's yeah. awesome! You see a cool YouTube video, and then you're you. You want to show it to your whole family, you just fling it right up on the TV. <laughs> it's the light bulb comes off when you get an Apple TV device and connect up to your TV, or if you buy one of these new smart TVs. Uh, right. Everything that is being manufactured now is a smart TV. And uh, it's when you experience that, you're like, okay, I get it. Cable and its satellite are going to just change. Now, some of these companies will, you know, will transition well you know, into that. Oh, yeah. Some won't, and it'll be some new ones. It's really what's interesting is it's kind of the wild west with programming. You know, it's just it's I mean, sort of the 
it's wide open. Look at YouTube. I mean, it's insane. It is. What? And the, the hits that people, I mean, there are people, you know, I, I watch a marketing show on YouTube, uh, Marie Forleo, and she, you know, every she's a huge, she's been on Oprah, everything. But they've asked her, why don't you just start your own? Why don't you go have, be on a show? She's like, I have my own show. It's yeah. a show on YouTube, but I have my own show. Why work for someone else when I can make this yeah. for myself? Absolutely. And you're going to see even new platforms that are coming out um, that go beyond YouTube. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, and, uh, we're, there's, there's a new platform um, called Vessel that, that you'll hear a lot about towards the end of this year that we're pretty excited about um, just because I think they, you know, they really have nailed uh, the concept for you know, curated content and really serving the best of. You know, and they're kind of changing the, the game a bit in, in terms of um, the structure. And I'm learning a lot about it. Um, you know, it, they're going to have a lot of firsts. They'll be launching content first. Um, so you'll, you'll start to see a real evolution of, um, you know, of networks and, and broadband. At the end of the day, though, it's really um, the content is king. You know, it is, it's the, you, you, there's probably some of your favorite shows. A lot of people don't even know what, what network they're on. Um, but, you know, content is the, is the driver. It always has been. And great content is about storytelling. You know, and, um, and you know, good stories, good storytelling have great drama. They have, um, you know, they, they have structure to them. They have great characters. Um, they, you know, uh, so you know, story, it's storytelling sort of uh, is is the big thing. Content is king, you know, and um, people are able to, to create these stories and share them, um, you know, now more than ever because because of what YouTube has created, um, and because of what this interactivity is all about on the internet. It's phenomenal. Yeah, anyone the anyone can be a star. Right. You know, we, our family is very tech savvy. We always have been, um, and we got on Apple TV a long time ago um, when it first came out, and um, we've been streaming movies and and being part of that for so long. And I'm even seeing, you know, we we did like I said, we went away from the cable network, and our, the cable came back, and they gave us. They're like, we'll just give you a streaming package then for the same price as a cable modem because I wasn't watching. I wasn't watching like. TV on the TV. I don't, don't want. I mean, I don't want to watch commercials. So, I was picking it up on Netflix, or I was picking it up on Prime, and the new shows like Orange Is the New Black or um, House of Cards. They're so amazing that you're seeing this really, really high quality content, and that brings me back to what you just said with HGTV, where you weren't seeing, you know, what you thought was your industry represented. And I love HGTV as much as the next girl, but I think that they're it's entertainment value, right? So um, I talked a little bit to Barbara about this. Do you think of yourself as setting up a platform where designers can really rock the boat and share what design really is and really start helping educate what the market, uh, what it really is? I mean, instead of so many people believing that you can create a design in 24 hours for $1,000, you know, that you can actually tell them the real story. Uh, absolutely. That's my, it's my passion, and I am such a believer in designers and what they do. Um, we're working on a project right now where I've, I've hired a designer um, to help me with this, and she, even though I'm rooted in the furniture industry and I've got all this great furniture around me, I'm not a designer, you know, and, um, and really she's making it so easy uh, for my wife, Jenny, and I to, you know, uh, to get this project done. Um, so I, I just I really feel like though that that it's that the real great design is so underexposed, um, you know, and um, so this is really a platform to uh, to allow the design community to share the good stuff, you know, sh share the reality of what they do and and um, and just, that stuff, right? Like explain that you're going to remodel your kitchen yourself; it's going to be a problem. <laughs> you know, you're going to run into issues and talk yeah. about it. Absolutely, the consumers. But really, right? really more from an inspirational perspective. I mean, it, it's mind blowing the the detail that des that designers go to to create beautiful interiors. That you know, and um, I just think that we really television has set forth some very unrealistic expectations with um, 
you know, budgets and cost and time frames and, and things like that. Um, and so I think that this this platform, um, it's you know, we're it's taken off. It's it's growing. We have big plans, you know, this fall um, to really invite uh, the design community in. There's some amazing tools on the design network. Um, so right now, today, designers can go to the design network. They can create a channel. Um, they can add their profile image to the channel, and they can upload, uh, you know, videos. It's not just videos. It's video-centric, but they can upload images. They can upload videos. They can create projects, um, which is a combination of videos and images. Um, and people can come in and follow their channel, just like you, you know, you follow a channel on, on YouTube. But um, we, we do vet the channels, meaning um, it's, it's not for... Um, it's only for content that's about home, in this specific vertical of home, and um, you know it's it's for home enthusiasts and design professionals. It's not for companies to come in. We we have sponsorship opportunities for companies, um, but you know so people are creating these channels. We've had almost 200 channels now created. Um, wow. For promotion. It's just really kind of been through uh, people talking about it and finding you know, finding out about it online. And um, so it's been fun to see those first channels start to get created. Um, and, you know, really some of the tools that are there, not only can you upload this content, but we have some really unique annotation tools, which means that um, people can, you know, share with the community what products they're using um, through what we call pop-out. And for, for the videos, it's a really cool interface if you haven't seen it. But I have, actually, yeah. Yeah, if you're as you're watching a video, um, if these pop-outs are created, say there's a baker soda at six seconds into the video, um, you can program this to where that a thumbnail image of that baker soda literally you know pops down below the video player, so people can click on that to learn more. You can link it anywhere you want to on the web, um, so it's really an opportunity. Uh, I haven't seen you know YouTube has some annotation tools, but this is a really clean. Um, you know, uh, thing, and it can link anywhere, anywhere on, on the web. People can save their favorites, um, you know, on, on the platform. Um, they can see all the products and all the links at one time if they want to. So it's really a unique platform that we've been working on. I mean, I wasn't a software developer before this, and I got to tell you, it is, it's hard, you know, and there's a lot of work. I mean, this team has just been uh, phenomenal. To work with over you know over the last year and a half, um, building not only content, you know, but but software. You know, we're building a platform. Um, we're not just doing a YouTube channel. I mean, this is a full out platform. And so um, I'm I'm so thankful that you know we were able to get the some of the furniture brands just to believe in the vision that we had when we started this. Um, some great brands in our industry. They said, you know what, Jason. I think you got something there. I, and we're, we support you, not just the good old boy pound the ball, but financially through, through sponsorships that are supporting this. And to get those first few really believers into the platform that um, you know that have you know, agreed to to do shows. Um, you know, we don't have huge budgets for these shows, and um, these. Um, you know, the talent, really, we connect with great talent. We find some of the talent on YouTube and some of the relationships we've had, you know, through our furniture business. And, um, you know, we'll say, look, we've got this amount of money you know, to to create a series. Let's do five episodes, and we talk through what we want the format to be. And typically, it's the, their responsibility to go out and find the production team. You know, we have a certain standard for quality for the TDN TV content. Um, but the content is really evolving. The budgets are now growing um, because we've got more sponsors that are coming in and, and supporting this. And so, with those increased budgets, you know, we're able to we've we've able to add to our our team, our creative team. And um, I think you're going to see some things uh, this fall that will really um, capture your imagination and, and really keep you coming back for more. Awesome. You know, we've been talking to designers about video. For two years, <laughs> with with the with our doing this show, um, and I'm a big believer in it. I've actually seen it for my own career that you know I participated in social. I was active. I had my website, but the second I I started a, web, a video show, I was identified as a person. You know, as someone people were knew now. They knew my face. They if I went to a show, they saw me. 
th these things didn't happen without video. And I think so many people got to know me through video that it's really changed the course of my career over this last two years. So I really, really strongly believe in it. And you're having designers who can create a, a, a video. They can put it on the Design Network. They can put it on YouTube. They can put it on all these different places, their own blog. I mean, yeah. it's it's you have multiple set, you know areas you can put put your content out, and people are getting to know who you are. There's no question about it. Um, you know, we we found a Forrester research put um, you know put a quote out there, a statistic. You know, a picture's worth a thousand words. Uh, but one minute of video is is the value of like 1.8 million words. <clears throat> it just it creates a sense of emotion. People, you know, think about motion pictures and television. I mean, you, you know, you can you can see the movement, you can see the expressions, you can you know you can you feel like you know that person. Um, and so that's is just an incredibly powerful medium. And as I said before, you know, it's it's easy to get started with this now. Look at the mega stars that are on YouTube now. My kids, they don't think, they don't have like TV stars. They got, they have YouTube stars, you know, and so. Mine they, too, yeah. Yeah, like beauty gurus. I mean, Mac Barbie 07, you know. Yeah, and then, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, these, these are, you know, larger than life. And you know what? Um, these, most of these kids, you know, started with just, um, I mean, their com computer, and they, they pick the stuff up so fast. Um, you know, and they just they sit there and just talk deadpan, you know, to uh, to the uh, to the computer, and then they can just push a couple buttons on their screen, and all of a sudden, you know, uh, thousands or hundreds of thousands or millions of people can follow this. And so, what an unbelievable world we're in, um, and that's really so. How does how do we harness this power of, of video? Um, it's you know, really this next generation of the web. Um, we're calling Web 3.0, and really it, it goes into curation. Um, you know, you're, uh, it's, um, it'll be interesting to see how the best companies out there um, are able to curate and make it easy for people to find great quality content. YouTube is the, this massive place, you know, and you go in there looking for something, and you end up watching a, you know, a dog on a skateboard or, or something. <laughs> Yeah. You know, so it's really this next generation of the web is going to be about personalization. It's going to be about curation. It's really going to be about the librarian. You know, that's serving up content um, that's 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 curated from this, um, you know, from this massive web that, that's out there. Agreed. Agreed. I think that you know that you can watch. You know, it's the same reason people do on cable television. They go to the design. They go to HGTV or they go to the DIY network because they want to watch a specific kind of show. So right. curation. Um, Guy Kawasaki is a big like social media guru, and he he quite often says that creators of content are so you know it's so difficult to be a creator of content, but a curator of content becomes even sometimes even more valuable because they put a whole collection together. For sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah can, can you believe there wasn't a design network? I mean, how could there not be a design network? <laughs> this, when, I, when I started looking into this, um, you know, two years ago, I was like, is there not a design network? I'm like, that's a no-brainer, you know? And, and so I was able to, at the time, buy the URL, thedesignnetwork.com, and um, you know, and we just we we set out on this incredible journey and this you know this big path, and um, it's been a tremendous amount of work, and we really feel like we're just getting started now. The vision all along has been, um, you know, to to create this this platform where people can share, um, and really that um, the first 18 months of this have been just us going out and really behaving more like a traditional network and producing content. Um, and let you know, and, and really promoting and pushing the content out there. But now, with the social platform, um, you know, we're really hoping for adoption from this design community and what we've created here for them to, you know. And I, I, I'm finding that as we talk to designers, they're a little bit intimidated with video. Yeah, um, it's scary, you know, right? I mean, a little, it is a little scary to get into it. And speaking of that. You actually have some events going on at High Point, so tell us what is going on at High Point. What are you going to be teaching people? Right. Well, uh, we have some amazing partners and sponsors, as I said, of the network. One of those is Surya Rugs. I think they sponsor everything. <laughs> they're just 
in our industry, uh, but they have invited us to uh, to have a panel discussion at, at two o'clock on the 18th in their showroom. So we'll have some of our our TDN contributors and some of our our, our TDN stars that have TDN TV shows. We'll have a nice panel where we can talk about these things like like video um, and how to get started and sort of the do's and don'ts and um, it's uh, and then we're going to have a sort of a booth set up uh, in in Syria throughout market. So we're going to man that every day so designers can come by and learn how they can get their channel created. Um, we're going to have little tutorials. People can come in and learn about video, and um, we're just going to give some great tips on just kind of how to get started with it. Get, yeah. Just get a tripod and a camera and set it up. Get a microphone, you know, and and uh, and just say what's on your heart, say what's on your mind, you know, and it's unbelievable um, how easy this editing software is now, like iMovie. I mean, you can create really good videos on your iPhone, and uh, this latest um, iPhone software that came out, um, you can do time-lapse photography, you can do slow motion, you can, you know, and, um, and by the way, you know, when you're taking video, okay, Turn it this way. <laughs> Thank you. Do you know how many times I have told people you turn it? Yes. I don't even know how. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, so I was like, you look like a noob if you if you're sitting there. Yeah. Portrait. I mean, it's really simple. A tripod and keep you know keeping a steady camera, having having a microphone for decent sound. Um, you can create good content with your phone, but just for a few hundred dollars, you can get. Um, DSLR camera and put it on a tripod and get a you know inexpensive microphone and really make some good quality stuff and then when it comes to editing it's really um, I think pretty it's pretty simple it's drag and drop um, and you know if you if you don't want to learn all that if you don't have time to you know create and edit videos there are so many um, video professionals that are out there that are available that um, that they they have a passion for it and it just just Google it you know just just Google you know your hometown and you know video producers and you just get tons and tons and a lot of these guys are willing to come in they're trying to build their business as well um, you do need you know another person behind that cam camera um, you know video and you but it's I'm fascinated by it and I, I kind of think back as a kid I've always been fascinated with video um, I had a Betamax. <laughs> you know, when I was like 12 years old, and, I, and we had every iteration of a video camera ever since. And I look back at all these home videos that we used to create. The problem is I was never in any of them because I was, <laughs> I was the guy holding the camera. My brother was like, he was a star, you know, right. of all these videos. But um, it is a powerful medium, and I just I can't encourage designers enough to embrace video um, use it in your design business. It will be amazing for you, even if you don't. Um, you know, use the design network platform. We hope you do, but but get into video because it is it's going to be really important to your business. Absolutely. And before we go, because we actually only have two minutes left, um, tell us about this contest. What's going on with that? Okay. Yeah. So to try to promote, and this is we're we're just now announcing this right this minute. I know. I didn't tell anybody. I just said there there was going to be some money. <laughs> yeah. We are. Um, we're going to give away ten thousand dollars. <laughs> this is really so that we can get this community excited and engaged um, to create their own channel on on TDN and um, and try to you know drive some traffic to their channel and share their passion. Uh, we're going to split it up into two prizes. Um, this is going to run for about six weeks. It starts at market, um, but the the five thousand dollars will go to the most creative channel. And that'll be judged by a, a, a TDN team, um, and then the other one, the other five thousand dollar prize, will go to the channel with the most subscribers. So two ten thousand wow. dollars that we're giving away, we're kicking it off at market, and um, it's going to be exciting to see people. Okay. Can you just say one more time how much money? It's ten thousand. Ten thousand. Wow, guys! I mean, come on, touch your hand. <laughs> By the way, um, we're we're gonna have lots of um, you know awesome contests and giveaways and stuff that are coming up this fall. Electrolux is given a refrigerator away for um, this new series called Neat Freak that's coming out. Sarah Lynn Couchin from um, you know from Canada is doing a series called Neat Freak. It's all about home organization. It's gonna be fun. Uh, this coming Monday, 
Uh, Layla Palmer has a video that's, that's coming out of Letter Cottage. We're doing a $1,000 giveaway on Monday just from comments. So lots of, lots of good giveaways and fun stuff happening. That sounds it. So head on over. If you're not interested in doing a video, at least walk over and watch because, I mean, there might be some financial benefit right there. Um, and visit, uh, Jason, you said you're you're going to be there all, again, tell everybody where you're going to be for at High Point because yeah, we want to make sure people remember. In the Surya Rugs showroom. And, and I'm uh, going to make sure that goes into our video description and onto the blog piece. So if you don't remember exactly and you want to make sure you – hit it, I'll make sure I, I put all of this information in this file so you're able to see it later. Awesome, awesome. Good. All right, well, thank you so much. Well, this has been a blast, Lori. And I'm, and yeah. you, I'm amazed at how, how dialed in you are to this world of video and its power and everything. So I'm hey, I, I've been on it. <laughs> I've been reading about video. Of course, I wanted to search engine results and, and finding clients, and I think that's what designers want, too. And, you know, video does it. Yeah. Better than blogs, better than writing. I mean, and it's easier. I mean, you don't have to spend all this time writing and editing. Just all you have to do is turn on the camera and be yourself. That's right. Exactly. Love, love, love it. Well, thank you, Jason. Make sure you go to thedesignnetwork.com. Visit it. Check out the channels. Upload one. What's going to happen? You, you might actually get some people who love it and want to watch your show all the time, and then you might be the next design star. So thanks very much for watching. Make sure you visit our channel on YouTube and um, Interior Design Community on Google+, and always in, at Interior Design Community on, on um, .com. So make sure you go visit uh, the Design Network. Bye, Jason. Uh, thanks, Lori.